So my dad decided to come tonight. Um, Woo! Yeah, in case he didn't tell everybody before y'all came in, uh, he does CrossFit. Um, <laughs> I just feel like if I don't put it out there, he might explode in the next five minutes if he doesn't tell somebody. <laughs> so if you see him around doing like some lunges or lifting tables up and shit, don't freak out, that's just my dad. Um, so I'm sure you guys have all been asked before. Um, I know I have a bunch of time, people always ask, if you could have lunch with any person from history, who would it be? I'm sick of that question, I want a new question. For instance, if you could be gay with any person from history, who would it be? I thought about this probably more than any person really should. And I think I'm confident in my answer, I'll tell you guys tonight. Uh, I would be gay with Jesus. Uh, yeah, be gay with Jesus. Uh, this isn't anti-religion, no bashing here, nothing like that. Um, I do it to fight for gay marriage. Uh, this is, yeah, it's legal now, but people are still against it. I don't know why, but I think if I could go back and gay Jesus up just a bit. Um, <laughs> just a little. Um, and then break his heart. I could get him writing some gay little poems, or in his diary, like, Dearest Diary, I met a brown-haired chubby man the other day. I usually don't like the chubby ones, but this one was different. That's how Jesus talked. He cast a spell over me, and I don't know, he just disappeared. Um, I'd like to tell my father about the brown head chubby man, but he would never understand. <laughs> well, diary, ta-ta for now. XOXO, Jesus, age, Christ. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, 2,000 years later, we dig up that diary that has all of our gayness in it. <laughs> people are going to love gay marriage. It's the only thing stopping people from liking gay marriage is the Bible. If we get Jesus' own words... <laughs> Where's the problem? People are going to love it. So, a nice smooth transition here. Uh, I get all my news from Twitter. Seems to be a reliable source. If you guys see Jordan Spieth, over the weekend he won his third major golf championship at 23 years old. That's amazing. Um, I'm 24, and I spent my last weekend walking around like, I'll never find a bag full of money. <laughs> Hoping to jinx myself into finding a bag full of money. <laughs> Hasn't worked yet, you know. Open. Uh, who else is in the news? Uh, if you're sensitive, I'd hear muffin for this one. Um, LeBron James. Didn't read the article, hate the guy. But it reminds me a couple months ago he was in the news. Uh, if you guys don't know, the Cavaliers lost in the NBA Finals by quite a bit. And after the Finals, immediately after, uh, he shaved his head, cut all his hair off. And people, that was news for some reason. People were talking about it, it was all over the place. And I wasn't shocked at all because, I mean, it's not like he's the first woman to cut their hair after getting raped. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it was tough. I gave you a warning. Uh, so who else is in the news? Usher. You guys know why Usher's in the room? Or in the news? Herpes. That's right. Yeah. Usher's got yeah. herpes. Is anybody shocked? <laughs> anybody? Have you seen the dude dance? It's like it's like he's trying to itch his dick without using his hands. <laughs> Nobody should be shocked by that. But it's like, hey man, did you hear Gusher's got a new album coming out? <laughs> His new hip hop name, uh, Gusher. Um, no, no, man. Uh, when's it coming out? Well, there's not a release date. It's just gonna pop up from time to time. For the next time. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really irritating, I know. But uh, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you.